Hello, Internet. This is Stephen Gandolfi coming to you from the tasting room at Westport Whiskey and Wine with uh, this week's Cheeky Pike, which is a focus on some sour beers specifically ca uh, carried by our friends at Dauntless uh, Distributing here in Kentucky. We've got a couple of imported beers from Tilken in Belgium and a couple of domestic beers from Colorado with uh, Crooked Stave. Uh, start off by talking about these guys. I've got uh, the Tilken uh, Gosa. Uh, I am not Belgian. I have never really gotten the hang of how to pronounce G-U-E-U-Z-E. -E. Um, Garrett Oliver says that it's sort of like sneezing with the accent on the first syllable, so it's like Gosa. <laughs> um, uh, Gosa is a blend of young and old Lambics. Uh, lambic itself is usually too bracingly tart to drink on its own, so you uh, blend one, two, and three year, or one and three year, but usually a fresher lambic and some older lambics to get what we call gosa. And it's got a little bit more layered, complex tartness. Um, uh, lambics themselves usually made from malted wheat. They have a, a pretty round body to offset that lactic character, that acidic character. Um, so this guy, like I said, blend of one, two, and three year. This is a straight lambic uh, cassis. So flavor with cassis, a little bit more vinous, very fruity. Um, the tartness comes across in that sort of berry style. But two gorgeous examples uh, of the style. Next we've got Crooked Stave Sour Rosé, which is a sour ale, uh, wild ale essentially. It's just fooder fermented, big barrels uh, with blueberries and raspberries. Uh, giving it this nice fruity lift, that kind of berry pop. It's a very good springtime beer as we're approaching the spring. Um, but uh, this is one of my favorite pairing agents for food. Uh, it's just a very friendly beer. Uh, it goes well with a lot of things, especially really fatty foods if you're having you know, fried chicken. Really good with that. Uh, lastly, another one from Crooked Stave is the Wild Sage. This is a Britannomyces inoculated beer with sage in it. So Britannomyces, uh, you know, Tranomyces procellus, we, we usually talk about it as being kind of horsey, mousy, uh, farm post, you know, farm field kind of thing. It's funky. It's not unpleasantly funky. Especially here with the sage, you get a nice kind of peppery bite on the end, some of that grassy notes, and of course these layers of sort of uh, tropical fruit. There's a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of mango in there too. Uh, but these are four of the beers that we'll be pouring this weekend. I've got more beers on sale from these guys. Uh, so come down this week and uh, please try our third round of sour beers for the month.